Hi, my name is Scott Davis. I live in Harper County, Maryland. A couple weeks ago, I put together a video on solar and I gave a tour on some of the solar projects that we have going here at the house. If you haven't seen that video already, I really encourage you to take a look. It covers a lot of information on solar in general. Now, a portion of that video was specific to our solar thermal storage tank. And there's been a lot of interest specifically in that, so I wanted to make it easy to find. And I've broken out that segment of the video. And that's what follows here. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, this is our thermal storage tank. Now, before you start thinking, oh my gosh, I don't want anything like this in my house, you don't have to. You can do a lot with solar energy by simply taking the heat the moment that it's generated, distributing it, in the case of hot air, as we just blew it into the basement, or if you use a liquid system, you can just run it as underfloor radiant heat and right back out to the collector. You don't have to do a thermal storage tank. Where a thermal storage tank is beneficial is if you also want to do domestic hot water heating or if you want to store heat for a longer period of time and distribute it a little bit more evenly. Um, this tank is 200 gallons approximately. It's just built out of 2x4s and plywood built in place. We have this in the basement but it could be in a crawl space, it could be in your garage, it could be outdoors. Uh, at the moment, we've got 140 degree fluid coming back from the collector, which was out in the backyard, as I showed you before. That's entering the tank by this tube here. Now, we'll come up here. It might be a little bit difficult to see, but we have 140 degree liquid coming back from the solar collector that shows you out in the backyard is entering this copper coil which is the smaller coil inside our thermal storage tank again 200 gallons of water the orange pipe that's more pex pipe that's simply water that has come from the town before it goes to our conventional hot water system so our hot water, system, hot water is preheated and then goes to the conventional tank. So if the sun's not shining, it's not a problem. The conventional tank does its job. Um, and that's basically all there is to it. It's a very simple system. These are just my uh, temperature sensors that I have here. Temperature in the tank right now somewhere around 130 degrees. So, and Ours, we're still going up here, 141 feeding it, so we'll, we'll get it up a few more degrees here before this, this day's over. So that's, uh, that's our thermal storage tank. Okay, this is the cold water destined for our hot water heater. It's diverted first to our thermal storage tank. So it ro runs through that coil of PEX gets very hot, comes back, and then feeds our regular water heater. So the, our regular water heater runs very little or not at all in most cases unless we have cloudy days. That's how the hot water portion of this works. And for space heating, what we do is take the same heat, we run it through the same type of PEX pipe that we've stapled under rafters like these and insulated. So that's, that's all there is to underfloor radiant heat. We just stapled them by putting pieces of flashing over them to kind of spread out the heat, put up bad insulation, and we did that under our daytime living space. So that's how we distribute this heat in the middle of winter. Thanks so much for watching the video on our solar thermal storage. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like more information, please contact me on our Simply Solar email group. I'd love to chat with you more about it. Thanks so much for your time. I hope you have a great day.